Hello, Soul Family. Welcome to your weekly reading for October 21st through the 29th of 2019. So I'm going to, as usual, pull out some cards for the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the weekend. Um, this week, what is important astrologically to point out is the new moon in Scorpio that's happening on Sunday, the uh, 29th of October. Um, so again, I'm repeating October 29th, new moon. This one is in Scorpio. So again, I, I've said this before in my previous videos, new moons are about planting our seeds, planting our seeds of intention. What is it that you want to accomplish in the next lunar cycle? So yeah, we're winding down. We're taking a look at what needs to be sorted out. Um, starting this new cycle, what needs to be transformed? Why? Because Scorpio is ruled by Pluto and Pluto is the planet of death, is the planet of transformation, of changes, major life changes. Um, Scorpio can be the detective and it's a very emotional sign as well. So we're going within basically and we're trying to figure out what is it that needs to be dealt with on the inside for this next uh, lunar cycle that will begin on the 29th? So with that being said, um, on Monday, the energy is the Nine of Wands with the Five of Cups. So, I mean, starting Monday, this is difficult energy, guys. I, I have to be honest with you. Nine of Wands is um, the Wounded Warrior. It's... We've been through so many challenges in our life and now we are at this point, you know, trying to persevere through them, through all these life challenges. Um, but we're hurt, you know, this is a, a person who is hurt, who's gone through a lot of, um, a lot of trials and tribulations. And I'm saying, I'm really pointing out the fact that you're hurt because there is this dwelling of past disappointments, regret. Um, this is crying over spilt milk. I mean, these are minor arcana cards. So this is telling me that these issues that you are disappointed about or these situations that you are regretting or still very sad about, you see there's, t there's tears here. Um, they've got, they've got you this far in your journey for a reason so that you can continue to fight and find the lesson with these challenges that came with these disappointments as well. So difficult energy that we're pulling through here in the beginning of the week. Let's see what the midweek, Wednesday and Thursday, what comes up for Wednesday and Thursday, please, for my collective. We are walking into Scorpio season this week, guys. So as a collective, we are going to be a little bit more reflective and emotional and deep. And we're going to want to try to figure everything out inside of us. So it is a darker energy. Ah, speaking of Scorpio, death. There we go. We got transformation. This is death of the old ways. Something needs to change for you to come in and receive. Six of coins, six of pentacles is about reciprocity, giving and receiving. In order for the universe to deliver whatever it is that you want, something here needs to it needs to change, it needs to transform. What aspect of your life needs to transform, needs to change, needs to die? You know, it can be a, a, a thought process. It could be the way you approach things, a, a situation, people. For there to be reciprocity at the end of this, something here needs to be dealt with. And some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. Um, and, or maybe you're the Scorpio, Scorpio about to receive something here. Um, let's take a look at the weekend, Friday in the weekend. Oh, that came out quickly. <sighs> that famous Queen of Swords. Look how beautiful she is. So the Queen of Swords, she's been coming out a lot. Okay, so the Queen of Swords can be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in your life, or this is you cutting out people, places, and things that don't belong. This is us using our logical mind. 
This is us being more analytical and seeing, seeing through situations and not attaching ourselves emotionally to things that are no longer um, helping us get to this point where we want to be in our life. Yes, with the Wheel of Fortune. So again, with the Queen of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune, it's telling me if by the end of the week, if we're able to deal with this energy by cutting out people, places, and things, then your wheel will turn. Things will change. Favorable events will come out of this. Give me more information about that Queen of Swords, please. Oh, we got... Okay, I'm going to take both. Okay, so for some of you... You are dealing with a cancer by the end of the week. Chariot is cancer. But again, to move forward, we need to follow the Queen of Swords' message, which is to cut people, places, and things that no longer serve us and to stop attaching ourselves to things. Um, with the Seven of Cups, I feel like with whatever is coming forward here, the Seven of Cups brings a little bit of confusion and options so maybe some of you do have a lot of options in front of you like you see here we have seven different options um with this cancer maybe might de be delivered this cancer that comes forward maybe has all these options in front of them maybe you're the cancer that has all these options in front of you so in order for you to choose the best way around this is to be the queen of swords whether you're male or female and I do feel for some of you, people are watching you or someone is watching you. Or maybe this is your energy. You're being very cautious and trying to get information um, from someone or from something. And you're, you're wanting to look at things um, from a distance. This is not communicating very clearly. This is someone who's getting information um, behind the scenes, you know, looking you up on the Internet, on social media. So let's take a look at what advice cards our fairies have. I always like using the fairy deck because they are um, helpful for manifestation, messages of manifestation, how to manifest basically what we want. Ooh, did you see how that flew? Wow. Okay. Ah, oh, man, I'm sorry, guys. For some of you, some of you need to, they're saying, I, I got it right away, walking away from a marriage. I know this is not... This is not super positive and uplifting. But when these two cards come out, man, this is, you know, and I'm going to read it. Walk away, leave the unhealthy situations, enjoy the new doors that open as a result. Some of you are walking away. Okay, so some of you walking away from a relationship. It doesn't have to be a marriage. This is relationships. This is partnerships. Um... Yeah, this can be partnerships at work as well. Why not? Marriage is unions, okay? So the fairies join you in celebrating wedded bliss. I really don't think it's it's in that sense when these two cards come together, okay? Because the cards, you know, interact in the oracle and the tarot. So someone here needs to walk away from a partnership and a relationship, I'm sorry to say. And I'm going to get one more. What other messages of love and light do you want my collective to receive for the week ahead series okay some of you need to work on your diet so nutrition okay so for some of you lifestyle changes okay dietary changes how you're treating your body this is an issue this week that needs to be addressed okay it says, improve your diet and your life will also improve. So what are you, uh, how are you nourishing yourself is also what I'm getting. What do you give yourself? How do you nourish your body? And then we got business venture. For some of you, trust and follow through a new business idea and career opportunity. So some of, for some of you, your career will shift gears. I think this is very positive. Because we have, you've got the power at the bottom of the deck. So it's telling me that, you know, you have the abilities. You have the power within you to solve or to manifest the situation. Okay, so business-wise, I feel like there's going to be some changes for some of you. And some of you might have to cut out something. 
relationship wise, some of you are walking away from a partnership, from a relationship. Uh, when marriage comes in, it means maybe you're walking away from a partnership or a relationship that was um, that was long term. That you know you you have been in this relationship for a while now. Uh, whether that's business relationships, because, you know, this did come in as well. So for some of you, it's about work. You're walking away from a work situation, a work partnership. All right, guys. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a great week. Please reach out if you do need a personal reading and check out my links below if you want to purchase my bracelets and my merchandise for Aries. Have a great week. Bye-bye.